are five supplements that I take that I think are most important for my health. Now, I take more than five supplements. I've done some of these before, and it's hard to cut down to five. But these are five that I always take that I feel are really, really important for my health over 60. Uh, if you guys like tips, uh, workout tips, exercise tips, nutrition tips for mostly people over 50, 60, 70, subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, we do interviews with nutritionists, personal trainers, and um, different uh, doctors and so on. So um, if you have questions or about whatever I do here, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And I um, relate everything to me. This is what works for me. These are my choices. So they're personal choices. I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you, you should do this, but this is what I do and what I think is important. So, and I'd also like to know, hey, what, in, what supplements are important to you? Put them in the comment section. Some people think you should take none. If you think none, put that in the comment section. I'm, I'm curious. I want to know um, what kind of content you guys like. So um, if you take supplements, there's cer certain ones that you think are important, put them in the comment section. And, you know, there's a lot more things that I think are important. I just am not listing them in these five. So let's get to it. The first one is uh, Glynac. Now, that's kind of two. So maybe I'm cheating a little bit, but... NAC, N-acetylcysteine. You can get it combined with glycine, but I take them separately uh, because you can get uh, the supplement combined. I'm counting it as one. So you can say I'm cheating on my first one already maybe, but there's another one I do this on also. So NAC, N-acetylcysteine, and uh, glycine. Um, it's really good for anti-aging. It's a phenomenal antioxidant. It's a precursor to glutathione, which is phenomenal. And as you age, your body starts to produce and has less glutathione. So that's one. And these are not in any particular order. The second one is magnesium. I take it every day. I usually take, it's an oil. I spray it. I spray it on my uh, lower shins, ankles, and I do a number of sprays and I kind of find out by changing the number of sprays on how I feel. I usually do that in the morning. And then I often will take one capsule of magnesium glycate, glycinate um, in the evening, maybe an hour before I go to bed. So magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral that uh, has so much to do with most um, chemical reactions that occur in your body. Really important. Next one, zinc. Now my zinc also has some copper in it. I take this from a natural food source. Again, if you guys have questions about it, I'm not trying to promote any product here or anything, but zinc, really important. It's important that you take it with copper to make it work effectively. Um, so that's a mixture, and I take this, any, any of the supplements I can, I take from natural food sources. I try to avoid synthetic supplements as much as possible, and that's really helped my liver enzymes. Now, the NAC has helped my liver enzymes get really in the middle zone, and this next one also is R-alpha-lipoic acid, another phenomenal supplement that really helps um, detox the liver. And I use the R form. That's important because I think it's more absorbable. R alpha lipoic acid. And I take four capsules a day on an empty stomach. And um, I, I spread it out throughout the day and, and on an empty stomach. So I, I try to get them in. Well, I always get them in when my stomach is at least somewhat empty. That's R-alpha-lipoic acid. It is just a great detoxer. And the great thing about this is, you know, I go to a clinic and do a lot of drips. This one is as I've talked to a couple doctors and they've said this is 
as effective orally as an IV. So this is a phenomenal um, supplement to take. I take four a day, about 120 milligrams, four capsules spread out. Okay, last one that I think is really important, vitamin D. And of course, that's got to have some K2 with it. So uh, vitamin D, again, I, I get this from a, a natural source. I, I get these supplements from natural sources. You, you have questions, put them in the comment section. Um, and so it's vitamin D with K2. The K2 is a very small amount. The vitamin D, I take about 5,000 IU a day. And I don't get sick. Now, it's a, I think it's a combination of all these things plus other things that I do, healthy lifestyle. But I don't get sick. I don't get colds. I just don't. I don't, um, I don't get the flu. Um, I'm healthy and I feel good and going through, you know, the winter, the end of the winter season now, and I haven't been sick once and I wasn't sick last year and I wasn't sick the year before and I wasn't sick the year before and I wasn't sick the year before at all. And this is 2024. So I just said, I just went back like five years saying I didn't get sick at all. So you know what that means. Um, not even a cold, not even the sniffles. And these are mainstays, uh, supplements that I take every day. So thanks for listening. Um, if you guys like this, like, and subscribe, the comments really help. And I will talk to you next time.